Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. Okay, well, here we are in sunny Sonora, Mexico. We're sporting a new rifle. As you guys can see, we're sporting the 300 PRC MOA on our four inch long action. And uh, this is actually a new rifle to us. Chris has never even fired it. So you guys- I haven't fired it, but I've held it. <laughs> <laughs> probably be watching her toast a deer on the very first shot out of the gun. Now I've actually had a chance to run it through the paces. Um, this one's kind of cool. I actually really like this. This is on our new Warden 2.0 McMillan stock. Um, it's kind of in this desert ambush color. Uh, we refer to it as a Badland model, but um, this is on this brand new McMillan 2.0. It's awesome stock. Uh, it's got a little 22 inch carbon benchmark barrel on it with a night force attacker. Um, this thing I shot it and we were shooting at targets that we had little two inch orange dots all the way out to a thousand and it wasn't hitting around the dots. It was actually removing the orange paint from the dots. So I'm kind of excited to shoot it, but not typically do we shoot real long in Sonora, but you never know if you're on the floor and you shoot up on the hill or vice versa. So this thing's pretty well set up. So kind of excited. Um, new outfitter we're working with. This is uh, Extreme Desert Outfitters. And, uh, but the irony is it's not far from where we had hunted. These Years ranches past, are yeah. kind of all layered in the valley and we're, I don't know, what do you think, 30 minutes north of where we've mm -hmm. hunted in the past, so. Sunny weather, it's been a few years since we've been here. I'm excited, I know that. I'm already full of tacos, that's good. <laughs> Tortillas. <laughs> it's either nap time or go hunting, so we're gonna go hunting. So anyway, it's our first evening out. We just landed a couple hours ago, had lunch, we're ready to go. So come along with us and hopefully we'll just start picking through some nice bucks. I'm, like I said, I, I'm pretty excited, so. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited just to be here. <laughs> Not in the snowy weather, so. Yeah, we left 20 degree weather, so it's about 75 here. So this is good. We're so. happy. All right, see you guys out there. Heavy tall, four by three. And some four by four would be something worth looking at. Mm first full morning and uh, we've been at it for maybe an hour, hour and a half and it seems like as the morning gets going we're seeing more and more deer down this road right on this fence line. There's a buck that's searching. He's all by himself. He's tall. He's not super wide, 25-ish. Dark. Couldn't tell I'm browsed. I couldn't tell how good his fronts were. I give him a look. I'll shoot if you don't, if you want to hang in there. Somebody tall. Uh, I mean, yeah. Shoot it. If you say you'll shoot it, so I can wait for a bigger one, then you should probably shoot it. Chris passed that buck. Jeez. Big key. You passed that buck. It's <laughs> a nice buck. He had the look. He just wasn't quite there.
segment is brought to you by the Night Force 5 to 25 by 56 Enhanced ATACR Rifle Scope. Features a lightning fast 30 minute per revolution zero stop turret, a 34 millimeter tube allowing for 120 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass producing brilliant images and exceptional color contrast. The new Zeiss Victory RF Laser Range Finding Binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's Range Finder of choice. morning of day two and we're already off to a, a little bit of chaos I guess I didn't even think about it because I regarded the buck as not big enough he was cool looking he had well, a little bit of mass. What's not big enough for Bobby is not necessarily ah. little for Chrissy because I've only I've actually only coos deer hunted one time so uh, it's well, okay it's okay. Chrissy when you see something you like Grab that gun you just need to like literally shove me off the rack take the gun and get it done we're in an entirely different area right so this ranch is pretty big it's a little over 25,000 acres um, so each morning we'll probably start off in a new corner or a new section or next to a new hill and as the day goes on we kind of wind into some of the st same stuff that we've seen before but this is all new country so it should be a good day up onto this peak cameraman Tim got that buck on film but he was going away so we hurried to two hills got on top and all we could see is a big buck going over the far side so we're gonna hustle back to the truck try to circle the mountain and then gather a new look the big pit tire see and top yeah. yeah, a little bit to our left, jump. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store. Now offering optics, bullets, and accessories for all your hunting needs. For more information, visit the extremestore.us. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by Trigger Tech Triggers. With the most advanced technology in the industry, Trigger Tech Triggers offer the most precise, consistent, and dependable triggers for your rifle. On the range or in the mountains. Extreme Outer Limits TV wants to thank you for watching the past 13 years. To continue keeping up with Extreme Outer Limits, subscribe to their YouTube channel, where they will carry on showcasing their premium products and hunting adventures.
We just spotted a nice uh, buck, a shooter buck, that Bob is actually giving me the opportunity to go after if I want to. He was about 250 yards from us, but they took off, and now he's about 1,300 yards. So we're going to go ahead and get on foot and try to make uh, close the distance down to at least like 600 uh, yards and um, see if I can get a shot on him if he if he sticks around. So. It's hard saying when you're down on the floor, it's hard to say what he's doing until we get a little bit closer. So come with us, it could be exciting. Got him. He's going. He's going down. He's down. He's down, man. He's down. Oh my God. It's a tall buck. Wow. <laughs> Narrow, but super tall, guys. Like, epically tall. Nice. Come on. Come on. Up you go. Oh, my knees are sore from knocking down so much grass in front of you, but let's get up there and get that buck. Ooh. He's down and it's getting towards dark. Let's go buck down. Here you go. Very tall buck. Get in there, bud. It's kind of pointed Ooh. right at him. I worked for that one. We'll just kind of sit here. <laughs> you got the nice one? Ooh, thank ah. you. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Hey, he's got browsed <laughs> too. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's actually got a split brow. Whew. His back's wow. almost come all the way back in and touch. <laughs> That's crazy. That look, at crazy? The big old, look at the big old rib. Yeah. See that from fighting? Yeah, I see that. I actually saw that when he was standing there. Bob, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank congratulations. you, Juan. <laughs> this might be the narrowest Mexico oh buck my, that you've ever shot. He, though? He's but almost, he's by far the tallest. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's cool. Big old front fork on that side, a yeah. little bit smaller on this side, but good back on this uh -huh. side. And then, yeah, well, good back oh, on that side, too. Yeah, good back on both yeah. sides. Double, double eye guard. Yeah, yeah double, double eye guard. Yeah. Double this eye guard. is Sita? Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I said, I, I said, you like it? And you said, I like I it. I like it. I said, well, then you just kill it. <laughs> That's I mean, right. it's worth it. It's worth it. This is our final season, so it's kind of cool that I got to take a trophy. Yeah. After all, so. Yeah. So we still got two days. We'll see how it goes. The rut is trying. I mean, it's trying. It's not full, yeah. see? but it's trying. Yeah. Yeah. He's been Stinks. scenting. Yeah. yeah. He's been. He smells. He smells. <laughs> he peeing smells. on his glands, the whole deal. So. My arms are shaking. We'll just get this buck out of here and. Uh, Thanks we'll for joining us. Grind it out for two more days, guys.
This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering an exclusive McMillan Game Hunter Universal Inlet Stock, capable of accepting all Remington clone actions in a wide variety of barrel contours. For more information, visit www.extremestore.us. Extreme Hunter Limits is also brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to extremehunterlimitstv.com. Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Defiance Machine, the gold standard of premium rifle actions, designed to provide exceptional accuracy and dependability without compromise. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by the all-new Extreme Heavy Hybrid line of Burger Bullets, rated best in class, ballistic coefficient, delivers the greatest amount of kinetic energy per caliber, will extend the effective range of your rifle. Go to the Extreme Store to get yours today. How many yards? Yards. Two hundred. Yards. Two hundred. You want it, Tim? Yep. An over? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I could hardly get on him. I got two oh nine, so <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that came down to a to lot shoot. of me just wanting to shoot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Relatively been a slow morning, so that coos deer buck was... <laughs> we didn't stand a chance. Kind of wanted to get one, so... That worked. Good job. Yeah. These guys are a little dainty. Man, look at this proper looking buck. Yeah, I, I said, well, if I got an opportunity at a coos buck, and we'd actually seen one bigger, but here we are second to last day of the hunt, and it was ready for some trigger time. So we got a coos buck down, and about a day and a half of filming left in our hunt, so who knows, maybe we're turning over some good luck and we'll see a big mule deer buck soon, so. Well guys, our Mexico hunt has come to an end. We were um, a little intermittent on our filming last night, the last night of our hunt, because we were so diligently looking for a shooter buck that we did not find, but we ran it all the way to dark. I mean, there was no available light, so we chose not to do a close uh, until this morning. So we're packing up and getting ready to head to the airport. Kind of a surreal moment because A, I'd been saying that I've been in the TV game long enough that I was kind of wearing down on shooting things that I didn't want to shoot and I would just be okay passing, mm -hmm. which ultimately happened. So <laughs> tag was not filled, but I'm okay with it. But all the ride home, I was thinking, you know what, this is actually the last day, potentially for me, that I'll be filming a hunt for Extreme Outer Limits TV on the Sportsman's channel. What about for me? I don't know what you're going to go on to do. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Maybe big things without me. I don't know. Get rid of the dead weight. <laughs> anyway, so Sonora 22 season come to a close. We were successful though. Chris shot a nice, really tall, racked four point mule deer, and I was able to connect uh, quickly on a nice coos deer buck. Yeah. So it's not as though we didn't have any action. I just set the bar extremely high for the mule deer that I was hoping to hang my tag on, and it never happened. But that's hunting. So. This is episode 12 of the final 13, so you guys will have to stay with us for next week, which will be the last episode mm -hmm. of Extreme Outer Limits on the Sportsman Channel. We'll see you guys then. Extreme Outer Limits, brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear, Night Force Optics, 
Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world, MOA Rifles, Defiance Machine, Star Valley Outfitters, and Broken Top Outfitters. Also brought to you by 